Here at Steel Camp with a special guest, former Steel assistant coach, now assistant coach at the University of Nebraska Omaha, Peter Menino. Pete, uh, obviously, first of all, congratulations on the new gig in college coaching. How excited are you to start things with the Mavericks? Well, I just want to mention the the black, black and black there. Like this is this is special to all those fans that listen to us. Yeah. This is what it's all about. We normally don't do these on video, so like we shut up. We yeah. can do that. If we get enough requests, we'll podcast <laughs> stuff like that from afar. But anyway, uh, thanks to everybody. Uh, you, you know, you don't move on and go to uh, other levels and stuff if you don't have the support and people around you, uh, front office all the way down. Um, you know, thank you to everybody. And I'm really excited about the college level. It's something I went through as a player for four years and looking forward to uh, transitioning to the role there and uh, have players at that level, kind of the next step from where we are here with the Steel. I want to ask you, first of all, about Nebraska-Omaha. We were in that building a couple months ago as part of a Nebraska road trip. Uh, so you got to see the arena firsthand. Uh, I'm sure you're really excited to to join that team and uh, coach in that building. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, that was kind of a – it was helpful, obviously, kind of having a visual there with what to expect and what we were going through. And uh, uh, when I went through the process, a uh, big thanks to Coach Gavinet and University of Nebraska-Omaha. Uh, just thrilled about the opportunity and um, – Dave, Noel, Bernier, call him Bernie. He's a beauty of a man, too. Uh, our staff's going to be, we're really excited, really excited to move forward and stuff. And then seeing that rink, seeing the facility, being in the NCHC, which is arguably the best uh, in, in college hockey. I'm sure a lot of coaches are going to be mad about that, but it is the way it is. Uh, I'm just thrilled for the opportunity, very fortunate uh, with my family and stuff like that. So be fun. Next question is about the family. Uh, I know things were hectic for you and your wife and your daughter the last few weeks, but picking up some uh, new merchandise here uh, as a new baby boy this week. Congratulations. Yes. Uh, thank you, Dan Love, the president of the Chicago Steel. Um, he handed this to me. I don't know if he's going to deduct it from my final paycheck, but uh, he's a good man. Uh, Luca David Menino will be wearing this. And uh, and we're excited. Sleep's uh, okay. Uh, my wife is uh, my, my superhero, my role model and everything. She's unbelievable, and I can't thank her enough. And her daughter, Sienna, has been a, a big sister, very good big sister. That's exciting stuff for sure. Uh, obviously exciting as well. A couple weeks ago, lifting the Clark Cup in Sioux City. Just your thoughts uh, on this past season's team and the way that they were able to put it together with an overtime win in Game 5 of the Clark Cup final on the road. I mean, you and I, it's just hard to explain it right like the feeling especially in overtime in the last game you could possibly play in the playoff series was uh just extremely special and i mean these guys deserved every minute of it our group was so much fun and uh, uh when i think about it i just get happy for the guys just i mean you were you're on the ice there after and just to see them skating around and um picking up the cup and all that stuff and then the, the front office kimbo slice was out there and uh, to have everybody you know, get a hand on that. It just shows that you have to have everybody involved and um, just amazing feeling for them. And uh, you and I got to hoist that together. It was, it was really cute and stuff. And um, That one picture where you're holding a microphone up. I thought you were just pretending to punch me with all of your wrestling references. I think you posted that. I was like, I think people are going to really wonder why my hand is there. It was like this for a microphone. So like this. We, yeah. should, we should like... Uh, post that in or uh, photoshop a microphone we can do that, yeah. that'd be better so yep. no confusion there just a microphone so i'm gonna ask you uh as we did for the pre-game interview for game five mm. now uh final shout outs that you want to give the, the mr shout out right here threw them all out there you know I, I think it's just fitting to give a shout out to the man that made the shout outs possible and that's Rob Sanderson right there. That's the final shout out, wow. Rob Sanderson. I mean, we should like wrestle. We should wrestle on <laughs> camera, hey, with something, right? No, yeah. Like I've always wanted to do that with you. But uh, shout out to you, man. It's been it's been fun and entertaining. I know Dallas Stewart and family like a little different type of interview, but uh, we, have, we have fun and <laughs> we do a lot of this laughing. Yeah. We see people walking down the uh, hallways. They make us laugh with different uh, features and stuff like that. And uh, we had a good time. I appreciate every minute of it. And I look forward to having an interview down the road somewhere else. Well, for sure. A lot of memories from the pregame interviews, whether you're trying to get uh, good luck wishes from Dubuque fans outside, uh, different locations while you're tying your tie. A lot of things uh, mm -hmm. happened there audio-wise. But good to get this on video. And, uh, and best of luck to you with the uh, Mavericks. We'll be following along. That's it. One last shout-out. Mavericks Nation. I'm excited. It's going to be a fun time. Good transition and very excited about it. Peter Menino. Ha, ha, ha.